I'm Francesca Rudkin and welcome to a Rialto Channel podcast. Today we're talking about Jack Nichols' documentary She Shears, a film that follows five female sharers as they prepare to compete in the biggest and most prestigious of sharing and wool handling competitions, the Golden Shears. One of those sharers is Jill's Angus Burney, a sharing legend, and I'm delighted that she joins me now. Thanks for being with me, Jills. Thank you. Do you like being called a sharing legend, or do you prefer a master or sharing ace? Oh, I'm a bit of a pop gun, really. We, <laughs> we talk about sharers being guns. The top sharers are guns, and, and I've just always been a pop gun. <laughs> there's, there's, um, it's nice, actually, as time has gone past, to be recognised for what we achieved back in my day in the, in the 1980s and early 90s. Um, I suppose, you know, when you're 30 years on from my record, you do get to be, a, it is sort of legendary because it was so long ago. How did you begin sharing? Well, actually, my brother was working as a presser when I was about 13, and he was about three years older than me, and he got a job as a presser one year, and I asked if I could have a um, job the following year when I was about 14. So I went out and did a few weeks as a wool handler um, just in my high school holidays and I sort of got really interested in sharing at 14. I liked what they were doing. It was far more interesting than picking up wool and, um, you know, share is share and girls look after them and it was kind of, to me, the physicality and um, the rhythm and the sheer athleticism of shearing was just something that I just um, yeah got hooked into very very young. Oh, abs- absolutely, and you you get that you can see that in this movie as well. So, were you from a rural background, Jules? Not not really. My parents were both Wellingtonians, um, but we were living in the Manawatu. And I suppose growing up um, in Fielding and having a high school that had a school farm. There was a lot of interaction between the rural community and the townies. So we were effectively townies, but um, Dad worked for Wrightson, so there was always a bit of a link with agribusiness. And, you know, we had pet lambs and pet calves when we were kids and went to the, you know, um, Lamb and Calf Club Day and the A&P show. And there was a lot of interaction that I think was a big part of my um, stepping into that industry mm-hmm. and and always been town and country I've always had a foot in both communities really were there many females doing it at that time Jules not not really although fielding was unusual in that when I started there was a couple of other women who were sharing locally um, they were probably what we'd call juniors so they had started about the same time as me um, There was a couple of women in the King Country who'd been sharing for quite a long time. Barbara Marsh um, started in the 60s. Adamond was in the 70s. Uh, Pam Warren was in the 60s. And I think that it wasn't until I went to sharing competitions that I realised there were one or two women sharing. But typically women sharers are juniors and intermediates. They're lower down the grades. Um, they're often um, very clean but slow or slower and it was um, there was a couple of women in the early 1980s who were kind of my heroes as I was a junior and intermediate there was a woman that did a world record in 1981 and it just was mind-boggling that you know she smashed the records that she did and I think you know she helped us make room to go on and do what we achieved and then you know these days 50 percent of the learners in Australia are women it's just extraordinary times have changed absolutely can you remember your first competition I can I did my first sharing school the day before and um and I went to the Manawatu AMP show so what what we did at sharing schools in those days was we'd do a week four day uh, five days at the course and on the Friday of the course, you had to do a sort of a test, and it was run like a competition. You had to practice whatever you'd been taught that week, and you'd get a certificate based on the speed and quality in that test. And we did our tests on the Friday, 
and the following day was the Man or Two AMP show, and I got second in the junior the next day. So I was really proud of that. And there's no female category. Like I, I I've learned a lot watching this film, Jules. Um, there's no female category. You you mm. compete against the men. Do you think there should be, or do you like the fact that gender isn't an issue in sharing? Oh, look, gender is an issue in sharing. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. It's an issue in any any sport. Um, it, you know, it, it, in many ways, um, it's a reflection on the times that, um, so Emily Welch uh, broke my record about 10 years ago, and Emily made an approach to Sports Share New Zealand for um, a category to be held at some of the bigger shows. Um, the New Zealand Shares and Tikawiti New Zealand Championships, they um, accommodated a women's event this year. It was the first, what you call an open competition. So it was genuine competition. It wasn't an invitation women's. It was you show your way into the final based on your results on the same number of sheets. So that was the first in New Zealand um, ever. And um, the Golden Shares had an invitation again. They've had invitations for a long time. Mm. Um where I think we've come is that uh, a couple of shows in uh, Australia and in the UK have had open competitions, so it doesn't matter what grade you're in, you're up against one another on the same scale. And I was just blown away three weeks ago at the World Championships in France. Um, I, it's my first overseas World Championship. I've been to quite a number here, but uh, there were 41 women in the women's category. It was an open competition. Um, I just missed out on the semi-finals. I got 13th uh, next into the next round, but I was um, in, totally impressed by the number that turned up and were really competitive. And many of us compete in what they call all nations or you know whatever level of sharing we compete at. Um, but I think... When you're looking at a, a audience, it's an entertainment thing. Um, we're not just running sharing competitions for the competitors. It's an entertainment factor. And my experience is that audiences are made up of girlfriends and mothers and, you know, female friends of the sharers. And they just love seeing the progress that women can make um, in their own right. And that's how I view it. It's there's, there's a place for women's competition and there's a place for just the um, ordinary grade-based championship competitions.